You know, I thought um, our, our ones went out and played pretty good offensively, scoring on two possessions, uh, which was jump-started by our return game, which I think the two returns early in the game was really, really critical for us to get, get going. Um, it was good to see that, both the kickoff return and the punt return that uh, flipped the field for us. Um, defensively, had a slow start on the first drive and then sort of bounced back and dug in a little bit after that. So that was good to see as well. I thought we got after the quarterback on their end, and I thought we protected the quarterback well on our end. Uh, we were pretty efficient. I thought we ran the ball well enough. I, I feel like there was 100 short yardages in that game. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but I think it was like 10 or something. Every time I looked up, we were in third and one or fourth and one. Um, just disappointed we didn't convert the two fourth and ones. That would have been that would have been great um, to see, that, especially that 17 play drive over fourth and one in the low red zone and a chance to kind of break the game open and uh, couldn't convert that. So uh, those were those were kind of the highlights. But I thought for the most part we played clean. I mean we had zero penalties in the first half, which is good to see. Um, and I thought we played an efficient brand of football. I think offensively, so that was a good start for us. How much were the returns scheming, and how much did those two guys just? Do it was just that was really just guys blocking well, and then those guys just. Doing what, doing what God let them do, and, and give, the, using their talent. There wasn't any much much scheme to those. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, go pump, go pump return, and go kick return. Just two series, but to come up with 14 points on 14 plays with your starters in there, how nice is that to set the tone that way? Oh, it's good. It's 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 any any time you can come out in the game and, and play efficient and put two scores on. Um, just to start out for our offense, being a new unit together with all the new faces, um, I think is really positive. Um, it's just nice to be able to to have some success. I think success is a good thing in preseason games. When you have it, it doesn't really matter who you're playing against. I think it's just important to sustain some success and build some some winning habits, I think, in the process. And so um, I think that part was, was good to see. So good plays from Stellanos and, and Martin Robinson. Yeah. How do you like the way that back end of the tight end group is, is working? No, I'm really, really happy with that. I, I thought we missed Stellanos on a, if we could have got the ball up a touch earlier, I thought he might have scored on that one on the sideline that, that he didn't get in. but. Um, it's. I think it's. I think it's a deep room. I, I think those guys got talent. I think we have young players that are are, are developing. Um, I think Justin Allen's doing a really nice job with that room as well. Just getting those guys back on the train of, of learning how to play tight end, and I think he does a, a great job. So um, happy with those guys, and they perform well for themselves tonight. Good in pass protection, and also uh, opened up some holes, especially the first group that was mm -hmm. out there. How much of that was scheming? How much of it was just? Guys going and winning against their man. Uh, both. I mean, we we did we did want to have at least um, you know some semblance of it. We didn't. I wouldn't say we game planned for the game, but you know you want to put guys in position to have success, and um, we made sure we had the right type of runs versus the defense we were facing. And um, I thought we did a nice job of, of putting guys in position to have success and have a chance to go execute. So that part was was good. Um, so it's just a combination of guys just playing well and doing things right, and, and then um, a little bit of scheme to go along with it. So um, I thought it was a good day on the, on the ground for sure. How beneficial was it to have the offense have a short yardage situation to go down the score and then also have to drive as well um, to the score? Yeah, it was good. I mean, we, we've talked about sort of all camp on, on getting in those, in, you know, football shape and, and being able to go. I think, like I said, one of those plays was 17 plays, and um, that's a lot. That's a, that's a long drive for, for guys to go out there and play. And I think it was good for everybody to feel that, uh, feel what that felt like, and, and see where we are conditioning-wise after uh, 17 plays. If we feel, I thought we looked pretty good. I didn't think we looked tired at any point. I thought our team looked fresh. Um, and then they played really hard tonight, so that was good to see. How do you think about the timing of the passing game like that? The one play to David Martin Robinson, in particular from Rudolph, seemed like there was a lot that had to go on for that to work timing-wise. Um, yeah, I think timing-wise has been good. I mean, any time that, that you, you – you know, I was intentional about trying to keep the quarterbacks out of harm's way to some degree, so the ball was coming out pretty quick. And um, some of those play-action passes uh, were really efficient for us. I mean, we, they, they popped open. Um, but I, I think our timing in the passing game is coming along really well. And, you know, a couple more weeks of this and a couple more games, I think I'll feel really good about where we're at entering the regular season. But it's been a um, – it was good to see tonight that we could we could be on time and play on time and operate together. Um, it was good. Adam goes in there and gets himself popped pretty good. Is that something that you have to have a conversation with him when he comes off? Or do you feel like that's – Good for a guy when he's been wearing the, the red "Don't Touch Me" jersey. All yeah, I think season. I think there's a I think there's something to that. Um, well, you know, a guy just taking a good shot early on and feeling like he's ready to play. I, I, all quarterbacks, I tell you, they like to get that first hit out of the way. So uh, we got it out of the way early. Hopefully, we don't take many more of them. Um, but it was good. I, I didn't mind what he, what he did. It wasn't really an egregious. Um, put himself in real harm's way. But yeah, I mean, less the less hits, the better. Obviously. How was it for you to see that connection with Will and Calvin there on that run after catch? 
bench, just kind of see them get the ball? Yeah, it was great. Um, we were trying to get the ball to Calvin two or three times there. We tried to fade in the red zone, um, and we tried one earlier that, that they – they kind of got their flat defender out underneath and the wheel checked down to the back. But um, it was good to just get Calvin going. And you see just how explosive he can be with the ball in his hand. So um, anytime that they get a chance to, to complete a ball together, then that's great. Just one more rep for us that we get the bank going into the regular season. And um, their connection is coming along really well. And, and he's just, I think Calvin's such a fantastic receiver. Um, I just I told Will the other day that you know you haven't really thrown a guy like this before. Um, he's a different style of receiver than um, he's probably ever played with. So uh, the work is coming, and, and so far, so good. You know, there's opportunity for those guys in the linebacker room, and I think he made the most of it. Um, you know, generally speaking, in that situation, you like to knock the ball down <laughs> as opposed to pick it off. But um, it was just good. He made plays kind of all night long. I think he made a bunch of tackles. He made some hits on the quarterback. I think he sacked the quarterback once, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but just to see him come alive a little bit was great because, you know, we're looking for guys to keep coming in that in that room for depth purposes. And obviously, we lost Garrett Wallow. And so there's there's opportunities there. And, he's, and he did a nice job of taking advantage of it. Did you have a chance at what point tonight did you really start to take it all in in this first game? That's a good question. Probably not much. You know, I was pretty focused. Um, you know, in the pregame, I got to, I kind of stood around and, and soaked it in for a second, uh, which was cool. And, um, you know, it's a, you only get your, your first time your first time, you know. So this was the first time I got to actually coach the team and um, be out there as the head coach of the Titans for the first time. And it was pretty awesome. Um, it's a responsibility I don't take lightly. And, and it was a cool moment just for a very short period of time to reflect on that. And, a lot of work to go still, but it was nice to have a moment to do that. I feel like the way things went operationally, like you being that guy regulating everything on the Yeah, I thought it was really good. Our communication like amongst the staff and the play coin process and, and on defense was great. Um, you know, there's one or two things that we you know, we almost we, we got really close to it and we kicked that field goal uh, with the play with the play clock. It almost ran out and, and that was partly because I wasn't I didn't communicate with Colt fast enough. So there's some things we got to we'll iron out just more so the special teams to me, you know, that's a that's a tricky process sometimes when we're going forward and when we're not. Um, but I would say operation, I thought it was really good. I got play calls in on time. The quarterbacks didn't have any issues with the play clock. We didn't have any delayed games. Um, those are all things that, you know, as simple as it sounds, you try to avoid um, and put them in position to not have to deal with that. So did my best to get them in quick. I think I might have run off. I ran off the play clock maybe one time before the button went out on me. Um, and Mason just had to go call a play. But other than that, I felt pretty good about the operation and the communication in the game. And there'll be some things we debrief on and make sure we get better for the next time. How happy were you with Will's willingness to check down in this game? Uh, very happy. You know, that's there's going to be plenty of times where he's going to take ball, balls down the field and we're going to take shots. And then there's going to be uh, a lot of times they don't give those to you and you get a chance to check the ball down. And again, I, I think that's the difference between um, a 58% passer and a 68% and a passer is, is being smart and efficient with the ball. And when you get a chance to go let your arm live and be live and down the field, then great. But um, there's plenty of opportunities where efficiency can, can take you a long ways. And so I thought that was all three quarterbacks did a nice job of that tonight. You know, it, it all matters to me. You know, I, I think that there's there's habits in winning. Um, I think that winning does mean something. I think there's a even in a preseason game, the, the mood in the locker room is always different when you win versus when you lose. Um, I know it doesn't count for anything uh, in the long run. I'll probably forget about the score of the game and who did what in, in a year's time. But um, I do think it, in the moment these things matter. And I think you're trying to build a winning team and a winning culture and um, it validates your work you put in, and so that that helps. So anytime you get a chance to go out and compete, you want to win, and I think that that's the mindset our guys had tonight, and they they played uh, the way that they played, the the effort they played with was fantastic. And so um, again, even though it doesn't count, I, I'm still happy that we won. I don't know. We'll see. I, I think that that sort of that sort of organically happened. I think we were just kind of standing around, and I was we all just started walking out. Um, it was cool to walk out with him. That was neat. I think what was more fun for me was just the communication in the game about calling a run game and getting his input and going back and forth on what we were going to call next. That was a really cool process for me to be a part of. You know, just father to son. You know what I mean? I, that's uh, I've never been able to do that with him before, and so that was great. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe maybe it will. Maybe <laughs> now that I'm aware of it, maybe I'll do it. It was fun. It was fun. I think uh, at the end of our camp, just going against our guys and transitioning over to playing a different team, we felt the energy pick up and it transitioned into today. So it was good to see guys go out there and be on their stuff. And a lot of guys played some really good ball. I'm excited to watch the tape.
good to get the first hit. I guess it's pretty pretty big hit. I guess you got it to go on. That, that, did anybody say anything to you after that one? Yeah, no, I, I got some people telling me that you know it's, it's preseason, get down. Um, yeah, no, I should have just either kept extending the play and throw it out, or but yeah, um, third down. I was trying to make something happen, but uh, yeah, I got to be smarter. What do you think about jumping? It looked like I you thought, were thinking about. I it. thought about it for a second. Yeah, just being able to throw to a guy like Ricky. You know, he caught that seven yard and turned into a 22 yard gain. Like, how much will that help you, you know, do the things you got to do, especially on third down? Uh, I think I just got to keep, you know, seeing things the way I see him and getting him the ball and letting him do his thing. I'm not th really thinking about what he's going to do after the catch. That's that's his deal. So um, it's always it's you know great for a quarterback to have a receiver like that to be able to turn those sevens into 20 pluses, and hopefully we'll have even more of them. Well, what do you feel about the line in front of you tonight, at least for those two series? It was great. I mean, I think Coach said we'd only had one sack on the day, so. Uh, guys held up and were on their stuff, and uh, I felt comfortable and protected back there. What did you think about the timing of the passing offense overall, and, and where are you guys with that? Uh, it was good. It was good. I think there's a couple things route-wise and uh, progression-wise with us when we could have moved on faster, or guys just making sure they understand the progression of the play and then why they need to you know, either get to a certain depth or just make sure that they have that internal timing with their routes. Uh, so that's something we're going to continue to work on and, uh, you know, we got a few more weeks till we play for the real thing, and uh, we know that we're just going to get better until then. What was the feeling after the, like, after the first drive and then to go out and get another score on your on their second consecutive? Yeah, I mean, shout out to our return team for putting us in great spots on both those. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool starting in, in plus in your first drive. Um, gave us some, some comfort and uh, allowed us to go out there for another series, too, and score again. So it was a lot of fun. Um, being able to get those red zone reps are, are critical, and so it was good for us. Players talk all the time about the game slowing down as they get more experienced. Did you feel that today? Is our thing slowing down for you? Yeah, I mean, there was a couple of reads I had where I, I really just felt like, you know, I was really in my time in and I was able to move on uh, confidently and quickly and um, find the right answer. And I think just with the reps I've gotten within the offense and other offenses uh, with, with similar kind of progressions, uh, I've been able to make those, uh, you know, more second nature than that. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Brian talked about how he wanted the operation to be clean, no false starts, no uh, delay of games, those sorts of things. Was that kind of a point of emphasis for you going into this, just to make sure that none of that happened tonight? For sure, yeah. We had no, no, no penalties until the second half, so that was cool to see. Um, you know, a couple things we got to clean up, but that was our number one goal. And, you know, with our group out there, I felt like we did a good job of everyone kind of on, on their stuff. And we just got to keep it, getting better at it and being able to use cadence in the ways that we want to. Ryan talked about winning meaning something, even in the preseason with winning habits and <clears throat> culture. I guess, can you speak about that from your perspective as a leader in this locker room, what even a preseason win can do for a team? Yeah, no, we got to get used to winning. And uh, uh, winning's fun, and uh, there's a certain responsibility that comes with it. So hopefully, you know, we can do our best in all these games and, and get a feel for, for that winning atmosphere and just keep, keep rolling. Uh, we're excited for next week to get Seattle here and to get – a couple of joint practices with them. That's going to be great for us, uh, and then and then to play them here. Uh, so we we got our eyes on them already, and we're excited to to have them. How did you like how you guys in the running game, and how you, good do you think that the Tyree Spears Tony Pollard combination can be for you? Yeah, they're they're both great at so many different things, and we're going to be able to keep defenses guessing with the different schemes that we're throwing at them. Uh, I think we you know gave a good good variety tonight uh, with the different uh, ways we were able to give them the ball, and they're going to be. Huge pieces in both the run game, obviously, but also the pass game. Coach Callahan mentioned your connection with Calvin Ridley. He also said he spoke to you earlier this week about how he's just a, a special type of receiver. How much were you able to kind of feel that connection, that timing play a role tonight? Yeah, no, I, uh, we definitely wanted to get him a couple catches, and uh, we, we found some spots to, to make that happen. And uh, it's just something that I'm getting better with every day, of understanding the type of player he is. and. Uh, how I need to deliver him the ball to make sure he can do the special things he does with it when he gets it. How much are you looking for the upcoming week, two, two joint practices, and then a game with Seattle next week? I'm pumped. I mean, from my rookie season last year, I remember our joint uh, practices out in Minnesota and just, you know, how intense and, and fun and competitive it was. And uh, I think our team came out of that trip a much better team just with that experience. So we're looking to get that same uh, out of this trip, even though it's at home, so a little more comfort for us for them to come to, to our spot. Uh, and we, we know they're going to throw a bunch of different looks at us, kind of similar to what we've seen throughout camp. So it's going to be a good rehearsal for us and kind of with our rules and uh, what, what our guys know. Will you seem a lot more comfortable 
You seem a lot more comfortable in the center this year. Was there any holdover from last year's offense to this offense, or is this just your preparation? Uh, no, I, I didn't feel any uh, holdover at all. I just feel really comfortable in the current system I'm in and uh, just working every day to get more comfortable in it.